Now, the situation in Afghanistan, and certainly after witnessing the confusion and the chaos, um, the big question right now, should the Biden administration have had a stronger U.S. military presence for the transition? First, may I just say that I commend the president for the action that he took. It was strong, it was decisive, and it was the right thing to do. Why don't you just gaslight us some more? I'm seriously starting to wonder if this is what Nancy Pelosi actually looks like. While the rest of us plebes have been watching this meltdown disaster in Afghanistan brought to us by the Biden regime and his lapdogs in the media, the propaganda class is intent on circling the wagons around a barely reanimated corpse who's been hiding with this cackling VP for the last four days. Now, the situation in Afghanistan, and certainly after witnessing the confusion and the chaos. Um, the big question right now, should the Biden administration have had a stronger U.S. military presence for the transition? First, may I just say that I commend the president for the action that he took. It was strong, it was decisive, and it was the right thing to do. We should have been out of Afghanistan a while back. Yeah, maybe that's true, but we're still there thanks to people like Joe Biden who championed nation building. Our mission in Afghanistan was never supposed to have been nation building. It was never supposed to be creating a unified, centralized democracy. I've argued for many years that our mission should be narrowly focused on counterterrorism, not counterinsurgency or nation building. In some parts of the administration, nation building is still a dirty phrase, but the alternative to nation building is chaos. A chaos that churns out bloodthirsty warlords, drug traffickers, and terrorists. And we have, we've seen it happen in Afghanistan before, and I am quite frankly fearful it may happen again. Whoa. Nancy Pelosi thinks that we should be commending Joe Biden. Oh, really? We're in the midst of what's looking like the biggest military blunder in America's history. With an estimated 10 to 20,000 Americans still stranded behind enemy lines, according to Republican Senator Bill Haggerty. What's being done to save these people from being the next Taliban or Al Qaeda propaganda video? We're going to get into all of that, but first, take just a quick moment to check out this special offer from preparewithdronetech.com. These days, the future is still more uncertain certain than ever. That's why people who know what's coming are using today to prepare. You can't wait until the last moment. By then, it's too late. The most important thing you need is long-term storage emergency food. It stays fresh for up to 25 years and will be there when you need it. I strongly recommend My Patriot Supply, America's leader in self-reliance. They're the only source my family uses for emergency food planning. And right now, you can save $50 off a four-week supply of delicious meals that provide 2,000 plus calories a day. Calories give you the energy you need to survive. And saving $50 is impossible to pass up, but supplies are limited. So go to www.preparewithdronetech.com right now and stock up. That's preparewithdronetech.com. There's no time to lose. Do it now. Now we are, unfortunately, uh, one of the possibilities was that it would be a dis uh, in disarray as it is, but that has to be corrected. First off, notice how cordial this interview is, despite the festering failure in front of us. Republicans are never shown this kind of respect. Second, what kept these reporters from bursting out laughing when Pelosi claimed that Biden's decision here was strong, decisive, and the right thing to do? None of that is true. It's been weak, utterly indecisive, and uncoordinated. And while we should leave Afghanistan, that doesn't mean at the expense of everything else Else. This has been a total failure, continues to be, and this skull with skin stretched across it has the balls to lie to our faces. Uh, one of the possibilities was that it would be a dis uh, in disarray as it is. Wrong, wrong, wrong. <laughs> Biden insisted that this specific thing would not happen. Is a Taliban takeover of Afghanistan now inevitable? No, it is not. Because you have the Afghan troops have 300,000 well equipped, as well equipped as any army in the world and an air force against something like 75,000 Taliban. It is not inevitable. But I trust the capacity of the Afghan military, who is better trained, better equipped, and more re more competent in terms of conducting war. Yes. Mr. President, thank you very much. Your own intelligence community has assessed that the Afghan government will likely collapse. That is not true. 
The Taliban is not the, South, the North Vietnamese Army. They're not, they're not remotely comparable in terms of capability. There's going to be no circumstance where you see people being lifted off the roof of a embassy in the, of the United States from Afghanistan. It is not at all comparable. And it is my understanding from the assurances we have received uh, that the um, military will be there negotiating with the Taliban for the safe exit of American citizens and friends, people who have helped us, our allies there. Negotiating with the Taliban not to kill our helpless citizens who are now stranded thanks to Joe Biden's idiotic plan. How exactly are they negotiating? The Taliban won this. What are they negotiating with? That's not how negotiations work. It just sounds like they're begging the Taliban not to kill us. Oh, oh but we're going to attack them if they attack us. So then why are we leaving if we're just going to go back and fight more? They seem to have dealt pretty well with our attacks over the last 20 years. This is just incompetence on a whole new level. But hey, at least no mean tweets. <laughs> Not to mention the abandonment of modern military equipment and weapons that are now in the hands of terrorists who will no doubt attack us again soon. Pelosi had some overloaded gaslighting spin for that too. The U.S. withdrawal uh, left tens of billions of dollars worth of U.S. military equipment in the hands of the Taliban. There were helicopters guns, ammunition. How much has that raised the threat of future terrorist attacks, this well-armed Taliban? Well, I do believe that the president's decision was based on one that reduced uh, the prospect of any attack on our homeland. Oh, okay. So it's no big deal because according to the people who brought us this debacle, there's a reduced prospect of any attack on our homeland. A real journalist might have followed up with the next obvious question, how reduced is it? But no, we're all supposed to just hear Pelosi and think that means no threat. So it's all good, right? Wrong. 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 What's going to stop Al Qaeda from regrouping immediately? Like right now. They have everything they could ever want. New modern weaponry, vehicles, and a shitload of hostages. Not to mention America's retreat, which will result in a major propaganda victory for the Taliban and Al Qaeda. Which, as I've mentioned before, always leads to more attacks on Americans and our assets. And oh look, that's exactly what's happening. According to the Washington Post, foreign intelligence officials said that they are detecting signs that the Taliban's victory has energized global jihadists. You don't say. A threat that may only grow as the Taliban releases al-Qaeda operatives who were in prison by the Afghan government. Hell, they can just join up with all those generals that Obama released and ended up being part of this invasion. Like I said, you do not have to be an expert of any kind to understand that this is going to be the outcome. All right, folks, for your mental health and mine, I'm going to end this here. If you haven't already, go over and check out my alternate channel for news clips and other media. You can find links for that in the description or pinned comment. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and let me know your thoughts in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next one.